will oscillate those wings to rotate this crankshaft right in front and a little bit below that pumps a piston to pump pressurized air into the wing stomach bottles and that's what provides the beast with energy out on the beach. <laughs> but we've got Amaryllis here helping it along, <laughs> acting as um, our, our wind, our wind power. <laughs> Out of the beach, it's also got a couple of other different senses to help it move around. There's, on the tail end there, there's a sand feeler. The Strandies really prefer walking on hard sand. Um, they were initially created to highlight sea level rise in Holland, and so they, what they really like to do is they like to walk on the hard sand, that space in between the ocean and the soft sand dunes. So the sand feeler helps them feel the hardness of the sand and stay on their preferred walking surface. Yeah, see so Mason over there is pressing it down, it's a switch, and it's all powered by pressurized air. It's also got this water feeler. There's this dangling flexible tube over here. Yeah, that water feeler is constantly sucking in the air, and when it feels when it feels a resistance of water, it'll know that it's walked a little bit too far and it's gotten itself in a little too deep, and that's when it'll know to activate its reversal mechanism in the form of these ski poles here. There are seven ski poles that determine the direction in which this great beast will travel, so we'll see them in action. Yeah. So, that's what helps walk the beast. You can count them. I know that there's, it looks like a whole massive PVC tubing right now, but the bee will be able to count them when they reverse next time. Are you all ready to see it walk now? Yeah! yeah. And off it goes. 